Welcome to SEO Conspiracy.com. Talk a little bit about SEO made simple. SEO done right. Yeah, number one problem today is how do I find the right information? How do I figure out what works and what doesn't? How do I, let's go over there. How do I apply the right strategy that works for me? For my website, for my website clients, it um, is not complicated. Hey! Oh, look at those big mushrooms. <laughs> and look at the colors of the fall. Beautiful, isn't it? So, yeah. Let's get it to what are the main struggles in your journey to get it right. Because in my opinion, there's nothing complicated. So why is it hard? Okay? Not complicated. Yes, SEO is hard. You gotta work. There's a little bit of frustration. There's a little bit of, we gotta figure things out, but for 99%, it's really all about, okay, one, what does Google want feature? What do search engines want? Maybe it's time to get also into the game of the second largest search engine in the world, YouTube, and the third, TikTok. But that's a discussion for another day. Let's just talk about strategy here. When you have so much information out there, it's way different than when I started in 04 and there wasn't any information. We had to figure everything out by ourselves. Um, so, yeah, why the only complicated thing is finding the right information that fits you. But let's debunk the, the situation. We know how does Google work? We know what does Google want. But the thing is, it changes according to several elements. One, your website. Not all websites are created equals. Two, the keyword, the query, the industry. Three, the competition. But that's pretty much it, meaning you need to adapt. You need to find the right process, the right strategy, and then apply, because inaction is the number one reason for failure in, uh, in SEO, by far. Um, my strategy of the Topical Mesh, go to topicalmesh.com if you want to know more is uh, number one, uh, has proven to deliver results since 2012. It now became a, a standard in, uh, well, <laughs> if you haven't noticed, yes, I'm French. So uh, could have done it in broken English, did it in French, never too late. 
but yeah, the, the, I got the receipt. The, the track record is here. If you want to search, um, it's called the cocon semantique, but the English translation is wrong. People translate it by semantic cocoon, which in my opinion doesn't mean anything. But look around, look around to, uh, if you speak French, cocon semantique, or if you can translate French or a little bit semantic cocoon. And you will see that, in fact, people misunderstood uh, some of my message. They understood a little bit, but not everything. Meaning, they understood part of the strategy. They understood that smart internal linking is a, a, a winning strategy. You are sitting on a hidden treasure, which is internal links. Uh, let's get off the horse for a second. Yeah, you are sitting on a on a hidden treasure because when I launched my strategy um, in in 2012. Well, I was using it for several years, but when I uh, announced it to the public in 2012, we had huge internal linking problems. The number one was uh, blog, okay? WordPress became popular and the, um, using dates to uh, sort, it, sort, sort out uh, content is not the the smartest way plus all the parasite pages like like tags categories i mean blog structure by default is uh horrible for seo then we had those mega menus for e-commerce websites so that's what i wanted to tackle first but then well first of all it's been a long time, 2012. And um, so my way of thinking has evolved. Uh, uh, but from the start, I never said that it was only a internal linking strategy. It's also happening off-site, around the page, around the site. It's also happening on the page. The way I optimize content is um, very strategic. But to make it simple, you have two main levers. One, content, okay? And content, in my strategy, I say give people what it wants, future. It's throwing up uh, categories, product pages, or classified, whatever, one signal, the top 100, the top 1000 is exactly, they're all the same. And um, you also want to give that signal? Okay, sure. Well, you're going to have to play big balls with the second lever, which is, I want my son, I want my son, I want my horse to take the sun a little bit. So come in the sun, come on. Um, the second lever links. So now let's talk about three kind of links. Internal links within the website. You have to do it right. You have to apply the Topical Mesh strategy. Go to topicalmesh.com for more info or you can look up the video I shot a few years ago. Search Topical Mesh on this channel. I'll link it. Oh, hold on. I got a little... I got to do a little something. So the reins don't get caught up. Okay. Here you go, here's the hack. Look at that. I don't even have to hold my horse. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Just let the horse go around free and uh, it's not running away. So, internal links. Okay, first content. 
And my tip is chill. Everybody is over optimizing content. It stinks of SEO from miles away. Optimize the first 500 words of your content and, and chill on the rest. And play my game of the mystery world. Um, second, links, internal links. Yeah, you are most likely sitting on a hidden treasure. Internal linking done right. If you take, um, okay, won't work on a 30 page website, but if I take like a million page website, rearrange the internal linking and it will do 10x, period. Uh, it, it's, again, it's not complicated. It's a bit of work, but it's not complicated. It's hard, not complicated. Then you have backlinks, okay? Backlinks, same. I, um, a link is a link and everything that applies to the topical mesh, which is who is in relation to what and why, also applies to the surrounding of the page, off-site. Backlinks that will pass on the good old uh, page rank, but also uh, social media, even no-follow links, everything that... Um, counts as, um, I used to call it the person rank. Now, since the Google leaks, uh, now boost, whatever. The, the, the vote of trust from the user. Okay? Let's call that a link too. And within links, you have popularity, page rank, you have notoriety, so that's you, uh, that's influence, that's word of mouth, that's recommendation, suggestions. Oh. <laughs> Horse, so something. And yeah, I know. She, isn't she beautiful? <laughs> so, popularity, notoriety, and authority. Those three layers of uh, what links are all about. And once you master that, once you master the whole uh, game of semantics, and it, I called it the, the, the cocon semantique, uh, which translates very bad by semantic cocoon, because in French, we don't have the word topical. Topic and topical everything that uh, surrounds the topic. And mesh, because to do silos um, is just the way you're supposed to build a website. So if you build clusters without properly building silos, so yeah, building clusters of uh, topics a lot of people will uh, recommend that. The only problem is the the skeleton, the, the, the basic structure of the website needs to be perfect. And in my strategy, there's even a dirty secret, which is it, it's down to how you link the pages together. It's down to a science using even different places in the uh, source code to have different effects on the link. And the way the pages are linked together within the silos, it can make or break. I mean, if you do a decent job, it will work. But if you do it correctly, like I say, again, 10x. So, that's the basic structure. Then, on top of that structure, you will do all the links, you will build clusters. But it's two phases. Actually, it's three phases in my strategy. First, we uh, think like the buyer persona. We build, a, I work with mind maps, and we build a content uh, 
mind map of the mental uh, mindset, how the the intent, how the user will ask a fundamental question, which is, how are you helping? What are, not what are you selling, okay? What are you really selling behind the product and the service? For example, um, a dentist that uh, whitens teeth. Well, a, what you're selling is uh, a new smile, okay? So the fundamental question would be, I want a new smile. Or, uh, and it might not be the question that um, your uh, future client uh, asks. Uh, it could be, I want to feel better in my body, uh, within my environment, and uh, establish uh, uh, better relationships uh, with others. That could be the fundamental question. And behind that, you could sell yoga classes or, or uh, uh, vitamins. I don't know. What, um, what, the, so that, that first step of finding what you're really selling is extremely important. Then, phase two, we change all this around, in, including keywords and, and, and so on. Okay, that's uh, first we analyze the demand, then we apply the offer on the demand. Then we can go way beyond that into various different ways to, to spin that um, in order to make it even more powerful. But already, if you're able to do that, you win. Well, already, if you understand what you're selling behind the product and the service, you win. <laughs> it's a big, big step, big major step. So, once you establish your content uh, map and you identify which page is starting in what, and my strategy, not all pages are SEO. And, and not all pages are SEO uh, with a commercial intent. Uh, got, won't get into the details. Again, go to topicalmatch.com if you want the, the, the complete strategy. But I have uh, five different type of pages. Once you have that, and it's all done pretty much in a layout that makes sense from a soloing perspective. And then you get a while, go wild, breaking up the silos, creating links between the silos to um, go into the clusters mindset. What's more important than the silos is who is in relation to what, and uh, also the semantic shift, meaning you, it goes by, by pair. Two is next to three, seven is next to eight, nine is next to eight, okay? So the direction, are you going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or are you going one, two, eight, nine, the 13, uh, five, okay? So two things, by pair, and then the direction. Once you figure that out, you, you, you can sort out content with <laughs> uh, the most powerful way to play my game of the mystery world. So game of the mystery world is I have to make uh, the robot Google, which uh, doesn't understand what it reads, what am I talking about? 
before I came about, it was keyword density. You had to spit out 18% uh, of keyword density. Well, I said, why don't we explain um, what the keyword is without using the keyword? And it's been uh, very successful. So you have to play that on the page, you have to play that around the page, and around the page, playing the game of Demisur Word with those two concepts in mind of who is next to what, and then the direction. Once you have that, you are good on site. Next is off site. Don't understand the website as a whole. It doesn't exist for Google. Google interprets the web page by page. A website is just a bunch of pages uh, together. Uh, the whole domain authority thing doesn't exist. It's on a, it's on a page level. So, around the page, off-site, same thing. Who is in relation to what and why? With backlinks and also with users. <laughs> users. Very important. You leave, you leave a, I call that a smell. You leave a smell as a user. Uh, if I'm an SEO and I go onto a gardening uh, uh, website, it won't be the same smell that if I'm a SEO and I go to a, I don't know, a website creation um, service. So next, the most advanced SEO skill. We will talk about that a lot, the smell of the SERP. It's, once you have that, it, it's a superpower. Once you know how to give Google what it wants, future, how you can, once you know how to smell the SERP, you're unstoppable. It's only a matter of putting the right means in front of in front of the goals and that's when it's i say it's only hard it's not difficult if you want that big keyword you can get it guess what it's not the one with the most money or the strongest or the oldest is the one who puts the right means in front of the goal is the one who give google what it wants future so yeah, um, this is just a riff <laughs> uh, while my horse is uh, taking a little break <laughs> and I had a little time to come back from traveling like you saw and uh, it's beautiful to be back home. We have uh, wonderful weather, nature is at the, the most beautiful peri period when the, the trees are, are changing colors like this. But I want to help. Yes, go to topicormesh.com. You, you'll find all the help you uh, need. You can hire me, uh, you can download the course and um, finally get it right because my style is no BS. I explained in the few minutes the, the basic layout of the strategy, but I'm going to pound and pound and pound again about all the nonsense, all the BS, all the... It, it's not complicated. Yes, there is work. It's a bit hard. Actually, it's not. It really depends on uh, what you want. If you want to be number one on the most competitive keyword uh, in the universe, yeah, you you might have to, to work uh, um, a little bit more than if it's a... I'm not going to talk about long tail. That's, uh, that's stupid. Just medium uh, competition. Let's call it that, that way. So... And I'm all for going for the big keywords. My strategy is meant 
to race a Formula One Grand Prix. But the good news is you can use it even if you want to do like a local bicycle race. Why? Because that's all you have to acquire is the strategy that works. And then the key is, okay, how much do I need to push compared to those who want the, the, the big keyword? That's uh, where the, the smell of the syrup and being able to evaluate what does Google want. Uh, studying or analyzing your competition is really uh, not the best strategy. By definition, if you, if you uh, copy your competition, you copy a strategy that's overdue like, for at least five years. We know how it works. It's a 100% a mechanical process to rank first and to stay first. But ask yourself a question. Why? Why do I deserve to be number one? What makes me worth it? So in this journey to um, find the right SEO path, I'm known to bring a no BS, straight up, my truth attitude. But, Amber, you got to do it. You got to acquire the skills and then trust the process. It works. It's so beautiful. SEO Conspiracy out.